Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your tarot reading. So the first message out for you here is uh, they mentioned some delays when it comes to money. I feel like there are two sources of money that you're waiting on. So the first thing seems to me like there's going to be a little bit of delay. It's coming. I feel like the time of Scorpio. So that's going to be, you know, it, when the sun is in the constellation of Scorpio, um, the end of October moving into November. I feel like that's when the situation is going to clear up. For others of you, I feel like there's financial entanglements here with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And uh, I feel like there is some go back and forth energy between you and this person to extract your income or to extract, you know, your financial, to, to square away the financial situation. Um, I'm also sensing as well, uh, for many of you, this is like uh, opportunities for new work. I feel new work coming in, um, either like a side gig that you're doing project based, um, you know, income generating activities that you're doing. I feel like it might have, you might have rendered your services and now you're writing up the contracts, you're writing up the receipts and you're trying to get um, the payment from clients or from like an organization or from an institution. So that money is going to be coming through. I feel like mid from, you know, the tail end of October moving into November. And so there are a lot of, you know, just things that you need to wrap up and contracts that needs to be finalized and decisions that need to be made here, especially if you are dealing with a fire sign. OK, so I feel like financial assets needs to be extracted between you and this person. They're not available when you call them. I do see like a lot of phone tagging happening with this person. And I also feel like you might have some hostilities uh, with them. So then things are done via uh, text messages in a very passive aggressive manner. And they're not very straightforward with you as to, you know, what you need to do, how you need to approach this situation. So overall, their communication is not very consistent. OK. Um, in terms of the career and the work sector, they're saying here waiting for things to finalize so waiting for you know decisions from higher ups as to whether or not you're getting a job you're getting a specific job or you're being signed on for a contract or for for a long-term basis so it could be waiting for them to renew your contract waiting for interview opportunities which i feel is going to be coming through and then waiting for them to get their act together to finalize the candidates that they want on on their team and then calling back and you know following up with them so if you are waiting i feel like the best course of action for you is to be a little bit more proactive about this rather than waiting for them if you've had the interview rather than waiting for them to finalize things i feel like it's important for you to uh, be the one to reach out and to tell them you know hey i interview and i'm just following up and you know as well trying to squeeze in the fact that you want to thank them for taking the time to interview you and you know that you're still interested and you're still waiting for their feedback okay so i feel like rather than just waiting on it it's better from your end to take the initiative to contact them okay um i'm also feeling as well for many of you um they mentioned there's going to be a lot of gigs, a lot of um, projects, a lot of little things you can do on the side um, coming through like from what I'm seeing is like from friends. OK, there's a lot of um, networking. There's a lot of professional contacts that be, can be gained through getting in touch with your friends, having them, you know, introduce you to a specific person so that you can get things going. So if you're working on a client basis, I feel like, you know, through word of mouth, through uh, mutual acquaintances, you're going to be able to gain, gain a lot of traction in your professional life. And you're going to be able to gain a lot of visibility through friendships. Um, I do feel as well, they mentioned like financial arrangement as it comes to, you know, as it relates to like custody issue. And I also feel some money leaving your hands. Either you have to pay back a debt, student loans come to mind. Either you had to pay back somebody from the past, that also comes to mind. And I also feel like financial dealings as it comes to your health. So you might have to expend a little bit of money in order to take care of some, you know, past health issues or some existing, you know, chronic health issues. Um, I also feel that coming through from family members as well. Somebody might be feeling under the weather. They're not able to pay for the medical expenses and they might reach out to you for financial assistance. So I feel like, you know, things that are 
uh, either loaned away will be coming back to you or things that you have um, you have loaned somebody I feel like it's gonna come back to them okay so a lot of financial issues being squared away which I feel is good or at least there's gonna be the emergence of conversations related to finances that needs to be squared away that needs to be kind of like um, just finalized and so that you both can have the closure that you need um, I'm feeling many of you are thinking heavily about you know um, not so much like settle like setting down roots but I do feel that traveling and just constantly being on the go is taking its toll on you so once again you know just try to take the time off to yourself spend to spend time alone I do feel as well many of you are thinking about upgrading to a new car or you know relinquishing your your vehicle because you might feel like you don't need it anymore you might be in a city where public transit is uh, transportation is you know highly developed so you feel like well maybe I'll just get rid of the car and start biking it'll be good for my health or start walking to work it'll be good for my health so there's a lot of downsizing I feel that is happening in your life you're feeling like you don't want to be burdened with so many things so many objects so many superfluous you know things in your environment so downsizing when it comes to property downsizing when it comes overall to vehicles and downsizing when it comes to you know work expectations okay so things are definitely narrowing down for you guys for the next two weeks and I feel like the major theme is for you to make a move so don't wait on decisions from other people be on the forefront of it show them your initiative show them you know how proactive how driven and ambitious you are because I feel like that's gonna set you apart from the other candidates if you are trying to win over a client if you're trying to win over a job position or or, or getting like a, a pay increase or whatever it is try to you know take the first step rather than just waiting around because people are really going to drag their feet and it's going to be in your best interest to be on the forefront of that okay so one last thing that i am feeling here and um they they mention here uh being far away from family so being far away from family so i don't know where you are living most of you can see your people but there's this element here about you know being feeling a little bit homesick wanting to return back to your clan even though your family environment might have a lot of problems I feel like you know there's a lot of um, they, they say like riffraff so there might have been a lot of just um, ideological philosophical differences between you and family members and I feel for many of you siblings but there's a sense of uh, um, loyalty that you have to your family and so I feel like if you're living far away from them there's a sense of like when you were young you know there's a sense of like wanting to escape but now as you get older you're just like I, I want to have that sense of uh, family again so I do see that element coming through and I feel like it's a very transitory you know element it's like nostalgia it's homesickness that's coming in but I feel like the reality of it was that home environment might not have been the best for you so staying away I feel like might be actually better for your emotional health it's better for your emotional well-being and it's better for your own sense of independence okay so that's all I have for you here cancers uh, take care of yourself I'll be back in October for the monthly reading I wish you all the best okay so lay low and you know take proper care of your health okay bye bye